Hi Taurus, this reading is for you if you're in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you. Then in the if the feelings are mutual in the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or if their heart is with someone else. In the second spread we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on with the person on your uh, mind. We have the Hermit, clarified by the Hangman. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Seven of Wands, clarified by the Knight of Swords. And uh, we also have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo or an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or any Zodiac sign. Um, what's interesting about this reading is that um, they will eventually come towards you with an offer. And by eventually, I don't know how long it will take them, but they will. But I think by the time they actually finally move their butt, it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. And uh, you're going to chase them out of your life. Perhaps this is an ex trying to get back into your good graces. And uh, even though you still have feelings for them, you're going to be like, you know what, no. It's like, no. I still have feelings for you, but uh, whatever you did uh, in the past is no longer acceptable. I will not take you back. You're not taking this person back or you're not taking this person in, <laughs> no matter what. Right? Perhaps uh, uh, they have options, you know, and you may tell them, you know, I'm nobody's option. Right, because I do see them taking their sweet time right now. We got the hermit clarified by the hangman, right? Perhaps if the, even if they don't take, have options, you may tell them, you know what, you should have, you should have made this offer a long time ago. If and since it took you so long, perhaps you're not really into me, or you don't take me seriously, you know? Because when we are in love with somebody, you know, it's obvious to us, and we want to come towards that person and. Uh, get something going. But with this person, again, they're taking their sweet time. We got the hermit clarified by the hangman. You know, st stagnation. The hangman is a card of stagnation. Nothing happening. This is them taking their time. Right? And uh, perhaps you're patiently waiting for them. The hermit could be a Virgo you're dealing with, but the hermit is a card of somebody who goes within, doing some soul searching, going through some kind of a thought process. So for some of you, perhaps they're just thinking about whether it's going to be in their interest to come towards you or they're trying to understand what they feel towards you or they have options, right? They, have op they may have options and they're thinking about you and that other person. Um, so here they come either way with the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Will of Fortune. To be fair to this person, whoever they are, this is a serious offer. You know, the Ace of Pentacles is a serious <laughs> offer. It sometimes comes through as a proposal even, right? The Will of Fortune, this is them wanting to start a, a cycle with you. If this is your ex, then they will throw everything they've got at you, Taurus. All right. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as, um, you know, this card always comes from somebody who is ready to start something serious, right? And the Will of Fortune is the uh, confirmation of that. The Empress on the bottom of the deck, that is definitely you, Taurus. That's actually one of your major arcana cards. You share it with Libra. But this is you sitting back on your throne. This is you very relaxed. You know your worth. Right? Uh, the Empress does not require an introduction. Everybody knows who the Empress is. And uh, the remaining two cards, the uh, Seven of Wands, clarified by the Knight of Swords, I think this is your reaction towards this person. You're not going to be happy. The Seven of Wands, this is you fighting them off. This is you standing your ground. And uh, with the Knight of Swords, I think this is you chasing them out. Because the Knight of Swords, out of all four knights, is the knight that tends to get into fights. Well, hopefully it's not a literal fight, but... Uh, you know, you'll get a bit furious. No matter what the uh, situation is with this person, no matter who they are, an ex or a new person with options, no options, what have you. Your reaction is, uh, nope, you're either too late or after what you did to me, I'm not taking you back. Or this ship, yeah, this ship has sailed, <laughs> basically. The train has left the station. Don't uh, ever show your face. Wow. Uh, yep. Yeah. Revenge is uh, the dish that is served best cold, right? If this is your ex, then you are definitely chasing them out. I'm not going to look at the uh, potential between you and this person in the, extent, uh, in the uh, second spread, right? Instead, we'll look at the new person coming towards you in the near future. 
Taurus here, spread number two. This is a uh, new love coming towards you in uh, December. We have uh, the King of Cups, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Sun. And we also have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or a uh, Leo. Right? Or any Zodiac sign. So yeah, you've got another person coming in. Um, perhaps for some of you, this is somebody you already know. Um, because the King of Cups, that's the person we're talking about, that is clarified by the Three of Pentacles. By the way, yeah, the King of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart, or they are somebody who is mature in control of their emotions, but at the same time still very loving. They may have... Uh, uh, a, a hard time expressing themselves every once in a while. The King of Cups is classified by the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration. So it could be somebody you work with, do business with, uh, they could be somehow associated with your workplace, they could be working in the same uh, building, or they could be working for a partner company. It could be somebody you go to gym with, to, uh, go to uh, your book club. <laughs> with. You get the idea. Some kind of a collaboration. It could be a friend. right? This person could be newer, newish, in terms of if they join the same gym or if they start at the same company or if this is somebody who brings a new friend into your circle, right? But anyway, a group setting. And this person will want to move forward with you a lot quicker than that person was in the first spread. We got the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is one of the fastest cards in the deck. It's uh, It could be a card of um, trouble. Uh, say you and a bunch of friends, you get together and you go on a trip at some point in December. You go skiing or snowboarding or whatever, right? And uh, this is how the two of you will um, get to know each other a bit closer, if you know what I mean. But <laughs> the other one says, um, you know, it's a card of communication, a lot of communication. My favorite interpretation of the 801s is the Cupid's Arrows card. So, yeah, very quick connection. It's instant chemistry between you and them. The Hierophant on the bottom of the deck, that is your major arcana card. Taurus, that's you. Or, this is a card of a commitment to marriage. It's also a very spiritual card, right? Um, the two last cards we have on the table are the Nine of Cups and the Sun. The Sun could be a Leo you're dealing with. Uh, the Sun is also a card of clarity, so you will be crystal clear about uh, this person's intentions and how the two of you feel towards one another. And the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. You know, this card always talks about joy, success, happiness, feeling on top of the world. The Nine of Cups, uh, the Sun is clarifying, is a card of a wish come true, and it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. So yes, this the future looks bright. <laughs> the sun is the brightest object in the sky during the day, right? And the sun is the happiest card in the deck. All right, so I think you definitely have a uh, um, big something major going between you and this King of Cups in the future. It is the season, right? It's it's a, a lot of cultures, a lot of countries have uh, holidays uh, during December. So perhaps this is. The Eight of Wands uh, and the Three of Pentacles, it could be like um, a holiday party or something. You know, at work or a holiday party at your gym or a holiday party with your friends or something like that. That's, that's how it could play out. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, this looks very, very promising. Alright, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. Um, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Taurus, have an amazing December.